Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about HTTP header, explain with real-time example, topic of computer network. Let's start with introduction of HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is simple web transfer protocol. It means whenever you want to access any file on the web, at that time you must use HTTP protocol. Next, HTTP protocol use port number 80. It means all the traffic related to HTTP are forward and received at the port number 80. Next, purpose of HTTP to transfer the hypermedia document like HTML. Also we can say using the HTTP we can transfer the multimedia documents. Working of HTTP is based on request response behavior. Let us take one example to understand the request response behavior. There is one client and there is one server. Client want to access a file from the server. So first of all, client make a request to the server for the particular information or file. So after that, server read the request and send requested file to the client. It is called response. So this is known as request response behavior. Next, HTTP header. Before discuss about HTTP header, we will discuss first the difference between the request message format and the response message format. So there is the only one difference between the request message and response message. It is the first field. In request message format, the first field is request line. In response message format, the first field is status line. And the remaining three fields, header field, blank line, and message body are same in the request message format and response message format. Here, I have discussed header field associated with the response message format. So, in response message format, first line is status line. So, here in status line example, HTTP 1.1200, OK. It means client request is succeeded at the server side. Next, a four different headers are used. The first one is general header. The second one is response header. Response header is present in the response message. Third header is entity header. And fourth header is request header. So request header is present in the request message. So we can say general header and entity header are present in request message as well as in response message. And request header is present in request message and response header is present in response message. So this diagram shows the format of response message because response header is present in this diagram. Next, header can be contained one or more header lines. So here I discussed this three header, general header, response header, and entity header. In general header, there are two different lines. The first one is shows the date. It means when response was created. The second line indicates the connection of TCP, it is closed. Response header is consist of two lines. The first line is server. It means the response message is generated from which server. So here, so in this diagram, it is generated from the Apache server. Second line of response header indicate in which unit a server will accept the data. It will be in bytes. Entity header contains three lines. First line indicates the content type. It is the text HTML content. The second line indicates the length of content, it means the 200 bytes. And the third line indicates in the entity header is last modified. It means when this response message was modified. In response message format, after the header field, next field is blank line. Blank line indicates the header format is over. And the last field of the response message format is message body. Message body contains the different HTML tags like head, title, and the body of message. Now discuss about real-time example of HTTP header. So here right hand side it is the format of response message. So we will compare this message with the format of response message. In format of response message first field is status line. So now this is the status line. It shows the status code and status phrase of the protocol. And from the second line it shows the header lines. So from the second line onwards it shows the header of response message. After header line, it shows the blank line. So here slash r and slash n is the carries written and start the new line. So blank line indicates the header field is over. And the last field of the response message is message body. Now see, this is the data. It means the requested HTML file. So we all know that this response message is sent by the server to the client. Now discuss some of the header field in real-time example. The first field is date. So it indicates the time and date 
when HTTP response was created and sent by the server. The next field is server. It indicates the message was generated by an Apache web server. Next, last modified. It indicates the time and date when the object was created and the last modified. The next field is content length. It indicates the number of bytes in the object being sent. So it means it indicates the size of object. The next is content type. It indicates which type of content are present in the message body. So here message body is consist of HTML text. So if you have any query regarding HTTP header, you can ask me in comment section. If you like this video, please share with others and hit the like button. Thank you for watching this video.